Well, thanks uh, everybody for, for being here instead of being outside in the <laughs> sunny uh, Madrid having a, a coffee or a beer outside. And thanks for uh, Jose Manuel and Ruiz Magin for, for having us here talking about uh, our uh, small project. We are not as big as BOD, but we are uh, doing something interesting for our needs. So first of all, I, I, I'm going to present myself. I'm Alejandro Fernandez. I'm general manager of Unebook. Uh, Antonio Marco is uh, VP sales uh, now of Unebook. Uh, he has been everywhere. He has an extensive background. <laughs> That, that we want to want to have a, a small presentation. Oh. Oh. Ah, we have to be here. Okay. Yeah. It's a good duet now. Yeah, we want to have like a co small conversation. Yeah. Uh, we want to we want to do a small presentation of what is a book, what we do, yeah. and uh, we will start. We'll do it uh, both sides. We will start with uh, Alejandro who is going to uh, give a small lines about what is UNI and what is UNIBOOK. Uh, and then we will talk uh, something on more in details about what we think the Spanish uh, university presses and Spanish uh, um, academic uh, publishing. And then we'll go more in detail about UNIBOOK and what we do and more in details and open to your discussion. And to close, we will have some uh, five notes about what we think uh, our personal opinions about the future of, of uh, university presses, university publishing. So, then Alejandro. Yeah, okay. Unibook, it's a, a, a weird project uh, saying that it's, uh, uh, it's uh, started as a concept from the Spanish Association of University Presses. Uh, UNE, it's an, a non profit association. Uh, it has like 35 years, uh, it was created like in 87 or 88 as an informal uh, group of uh, academic publishers who joined together just to go to conferences, go to book fairs, but uh, as, as time was going by, we, we started to, to develop different projects. I've been working closely with UNE like almost uh, 12 years uh, ago. And so Unebook uh, started in 2014. It started as a, let's say, like a, a online catalog of all the, uh, of all the backlist of the 70 members of the Spanish Association of University Presses. And uh, the project has been growing since then. Uh, we started, as I'm saying, like a, a, an, a, an e-commerce for paper books and e-books. It was a, a, a mix e-commerce, and we started serving end users. We were an, a, a retail store, an online store, and we were doing some small uh, works for distribution for for uh, other distributors to to go to book fairs. But now uh, we are uh, selling content uh, direct to, to libraries, which is like the, the main project that we are working right now in uh, since uh, 2020. And uh, well, I, I would like uh, uh, Antonio to, to share his opinions. He's been uh, in the project for uh, one year and a half right now. He started as a VP of sales. We, we knew each other uh, from many years ago, he, he uh, as I was saying, he was in, 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 in different, some other different publishing projects. And uh, well, he, he got a little bit surprised about what he has found on, yeah. on the uh, yeah. baggage that we have in there. This University is some presses. ideas about um, what university presses uh, and academy presses are always forgotten. Uh, we, I mean, I've been in publishing since 89. I've been in trade in the States, in Latin America, in every, all kind of publishing. And then I came, uh, and for me, and I think for most of the people, what is happening is uh, uh, they don't, we don't count for anyone. We, you go to the bookstores and you don't find any, any publisher. If you go to a, book, a bookseller, ask for a book published by any of the 
70 of our publishers, they say it's agotado or it's out of print or it's anything, or I don't know, I don't have any idea. That's one of the things uh, make me really, I mean, think when I, I'm working in Unibook is up, I see the quality of the books. There is a big transformation in, in all the world and in, in the places we're working in Latin America and Spain, how the university presses, they change from uh, the servicio de publicaciones to do photocopies for the, for the, uh, for the students and everything to became really a professional, professional, we professional presses. With a lot of, uh, not a lot of people, some of them they have three or two people who work there, but if you see the quality and the variety of subjects there is publishing now, it's, 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 it's immense. It's, it, we have a, a, lot, a lot of publishers when you show the books and you go to the bookstore now, you go to the bookstore, to the book fair in Madrid, and you see our booth, you, you will see uh, more than 120 publishers from Spain, Latin America, and in Spanish. Uh, then the quality, you don't, you don't know it's a, a trade publisher who published that. And the subject are for, uh, yeah, uh, for feminists, for any kind of subject around, around, around them. And there is uh, something we, I, I, I feel is we are following some of the model from the uh, Anglo-Saxon presses, university presses. If you see some of the books, like a press by Univers uh, University of Chicago Press or Yale Press, they are in all bookstores around. That is the same because there is not happening in the Spanish, and this is why we are forgotten. And some people say because you don't publish a lot, but that's not true. If you, we see some data, this is the data of, uh, made by the mapping of the university presses in academic, an academic Spanish language. We, this is made by a group uh, uh, led by Elea, and yeah. they presented this data in the last uh, liver. And I think they're going to present it again. If you see, this is uh, based in, in the ESF, ESPN, uh, published uh, by subject, uh, published by publisher. What you see is amazing because, and also they clean it for all the uh, self-publishing and all the Amazon and all these things. And they, they leave this kind of, uh, of results. 54% of the publishing is doing now in Latin America is, is, is published by university or academic presses. It's one or more than, than every two books is published by a university press. And you won't find it in any bookstore. In Spain, the situation is low. It's only like 36% of any ISBN now taken out of self-publishing and all these things, is published by one university press or academic publishing. Uh, I, I work in Passages, which is a nice bookstore with a big catalog, and I can promise you, we only have few, very few uh, titles of our university presses. For a couple of them, because they were in Babelia, or they were in a place, but there is not. There is public in general doesn't know, and readers in general doesn't know how many books we are publishing now at this moment. I don't know if you have any other data, but it's amazing. This is one of my surprise when I started working with my friend Alejandro. And if you see for the countries, uh, there is some countries who are it's amazing, like Colombia, almost 60% of, of books, titles published in, in Colombia are published by university presses. Uh, you see another one, Ecuador, there is many countries, uh, Brazil, 54%. You see the whole uh, quality and uh, different, different subjects, like you have the UNAM in Mexico, they have uh, books that are completely uh, competing with trade and can, can be the higher quality, the much, much more of the, of the publisher around. And also here you have a couple of, this is only for Colombia, because they study the mapping they, they did 
they did only in Colombia, but they want to do it in the rest of the country. This is something very interesting, what they, the result they did. One is 60%, they, they discovered, and they, they, they choose 67% 60, of the books published by university presses in Colombia, who remind there is 60% uh, of publishing there, can be commercially said. If you see this one, it's, it's not two-thirds, according with the, with, 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 the, with the sales principles, they can be, they can be sent, uh, but they are not in the bookstore. If you see here, uh, what is another thing which is very interesting is how there is the difference, oh, sorry, how is the difference, the different subjects they publish. It's amazing, I mean, and also the thing is, people, the authors are people who know very well their subject. It's not by an author of autoayuda or self-help or something like that. It's professors or people in the university who know. And look at that, sociology, economy, it, uh, uh, linguistics, And also here you can see what is in the academic publishing in the last, the last different years. How the uh, university presses in Colombia, they grow the publishing so fast and so good. I don't know if you have any questions. Yeah. I know that, see, the difference, because what they choose, okay, one of the problems everyone say, university presses books, uh, the titles are not very sellable. I mean, they, they cannot sell it because their subjects are too local or because the title is good or the production is not good. But they say here that's, that you can sell all of them. The criteria, criteria of the people who do the mapping, but I mean, they're a very specialist in this. It's not my, my, my core. There's yeah. a difference between fiction, non-fiction, and when in, 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 in this group of non-fiction, they are like saying they are too regional, too small, too for, a, for a very niche I focus or audience. So that's pretty much the difference that they made. And so they, they found out that there's a lot of uh, content. The, like the, the, the thing is, there is content who doesn't have the visibility for anyone because it is not except in us, in only book, in the web of the, of the university presses or in very, very specialized places, you cannot find that book. Uh, it's a big surprise because for us, it's a big test. The thing we did is in the book fair in, in Madrid, in the stand, we have 150 publishers, uh, university publishers from Spain and in America. People are very surprised why you have this title. And they cannot proceed sometimes. You don't find it. We are really forgotten. I mean, uh, forgotten in everything, in, ev in every seminar, in everything, and you you don't find any anything except the one the, the, the things we do with the unit. You don't find in anywhere anyone talking about academic and university presses. Everyone talks about uh, POD or about about uh, trade or everything. I mean, we're we're really forgotten. We are, we don't exist in general in the Spanish world. In the states, it's different. Not that different. Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's the thing. My opinion. Well, but that's the thing. I mean, in 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 this context, the the, the purpose of creating the book, well, it happens twice. I mean, th there's this 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 uh, thing that I, uh, Antonio has pointed out, and there's uh, another thing that happened when uh, we started with with the book is that there were different distributors that uh, bankrupt in between 2010 and 2014 so the the the, the purpose of the association was to create uh, our own channel so we started small we are keeping small we are bigger than before but we are only fi five people but we are very focused in 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 our audience so what we are doing right now come yeah, on. this is what this is what happened why showing this this is why you Yeah, we are, I mean, 
the only thing that we can say is that we are uh, one case at all. There's no association that is doing the same, nor even the AUP in the States. Uh, the, of course, they have all these, uh, well, the, uh, the AUP is the Association of University Publishers that are in, based in the States, and they have Harvard, they have Yale, but they haven't created like a, a, a project like, uh, like us. They have their, their own distribution. So uh, what we are doing is like a, a any other distributor uh, can simple. do. Like very simple thing. Pardon? Very simple thing. Yeah, well, very simple. I mean, like trying to uh, promote, uh, make marketing. Uh, we are trying to, to, to sell to uh, bookstores. Uh, we sell to uh, wholesalers. We, we uh, export in, in Latin America, which uh, having somebody to make POD in Latin America would be really nice. Uh, <laughs> Given the, the price of the fuel and the cost of the of the shipping right now, it's a very big thing. So, and uh, we are doing some other stuff that it's uh, giving us a lot of uh, um, how do you say attention, even though it's not very profit, which is the intercambio científico. We are what we are doing. It's uh, in interchanging uh, the ebooks from our publishers to their li libraries. We are working with uh, 65 libraries here in, in, in Spain, and we are interchanging um, uh, their, their digital content. Right now, we have a, a catalog of uh, 20,000 but uh, ebooks, and we have a catalog, a backlist in, in only for the association, uh, for the members of the association of 1,025, no, uh, 125,000 titles in our backlist. We are only focused on, on, on long tail. We are a long tail seller. We have very l few, very, very low uh, number of best sellers. So w this what we are creating... Yeah, this yeah, this thing which the only thing yeah. is, when, o, o books from the, from the university presses are very long sellers, are not best sellers in general. There are books who are coming every year, people are asking for the classes and everything like that. It's a very it's a, it's a business to long sellers. You need to be very patient. Yeah, so what we are doing, it's only focus on, on the Spanish language uh, academic content. We are focused on our needs. And wh what we are, uh, our feeling is that we are building a community around uh, our, our, our work because we, are, we, we have all this uh, information of, of the, the content that we are distributing. We have uh, all the contacts with libraries. We are now ingesting content from uh, Latin American publishers. And uh, there's, there's one project that I want to mention. Yes. Uh, it's the uh, Intercambio Cien... Well, yeah, which is and the I think Intercambio we, we do is go, we go to the book first. Uh, we, yeah. we, we go to the book first, all the book first, uh, Frankfurt, Guadalajara, Filbo, all kind of book fairs from Madrid try to give visibility all the Spanish uh, Spanish presses. And, and yeah. 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 The market, the market is very different because in the state there is thousands of, of university presses. Really, I mean there is. Well, a few hundred, well, almost a thousand, I think, if you recall. Uh, in Spain, there is uh, around 70, 80. In the whole Latin America, it would sound everything, it would be like uh, 100, 200, something like that. 300. Okay, 300. The thing is, there, there is some, uh, the model, some of the, of the university presses, uh, most in Latin America, really good in Spain.
very close to the grave, and like like the like Yale and all of that. Uh, La UNAM in, in Mexico, they have a big trade uh, book, uh, a big trade, and then you can find it. And there is a, another another university like Tan or Universidad in Peru. They they are more academic. They, they don't want to publish. But if in the the ones they need to have money for support the, the publishing. Yeah, well, the, 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 I mean, we, we, we know that it's different over there. The thing but is that the, the model in the States is way too different than what we have here. We have 70 publishers in, in our association, but mm, mo uh, almost 85% uh, are uh, public institutions, which they have, like, a, they are uh, uh, mission driven, so there are some output that they have to, put to, to, to publish, even though uh, it is not going to go to the trade audience. However, um, we, we have like big publishers here, like PESIC, that they have one of the best uh, dissemination collection, uh, which is Que Sabemos De, or, uh, or Universidad, de, Universidad de Valencia, that they have like a- La Universidad de Zaragoza. Two, two, oh, Universidad de Zaragoza. Zaragoza they, if you see, they have a lot of books that are really, can go to the, to the trades directly with no problem. So in all the output, there's very uh, heterogeneous. Uh, I mean, we have uh, big publishers that add, are, they, they do have some trade collections, and they also have like scholarly uh, output. It, instead of in print, what they have is different collection. I mean, something is like, is like in Yale of that, they have more in print. Here, you find a, a, a university press who has a collection who is more close to the trade, and they do that. And, and also, in all, like in all publishing, depends on the publisher. I mean, if you have a publisher who is more connected with the trade and everything, they try to buy more rights and be more, more in print. More or less answer. Yeah, Princeton, for example, they have a very good, uh, Christy Henry is the director of Princeton University, University Press, and they have a very good collection of, of essay and they, they are publishing very good things, like for example, Koan Libros here are translating their uh, collection on classics. And so, uh, well, I'll, uh, before I saw the, the uh, before I came here, we were going to talk about what we are doing in our technical stuff, but after seeing the Overdrive presentation, it was very interesting because, I mean, they are doing exactly the opposite that we do. I mean, they have like this circle and they have like this 28% of nonfiction well, we are focused on nonfiction and very specific content. And what we are doing the, these last three years, what we have been focusing, it's on understanding what uh, university libraries need. And to tell you the truth, it's way too complicated because uh, uh, it's not like a public library when you just set up a, a, a software because our, our, our aim and uh, the goal is to, to be discoverable. We have to make our books discoverable in the university uh, libraries, which is very difficult because there is a lot of segmentation of, of, of the contents. And we are doing a lot of work in, in making our uh, books discoverable in, in, in libraries and also give a good experience of reading. We, we uh, give like a streaming uh, service for, for consulting our, our ebooks there and we have an, uh, a DRM. Uh, this is, the, this is the, the thing we're doing for the uh, ebooks, for, for the digital book, who is now most of the university libraries are asking for. And I don't know. I, uh, Yeah, what we do, yeah, we started to make it short uh, in, in 2015. Well, actually, when we presented in Liber 2014 our project, we were very excited about how the uh, consumers were going to receive our, our, our project. And the thing is that the, 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 
the main requests we got were from libraries. Like we, we weren't thinking on libraries. Like, uh, well, I need your content. How am I going to, to get uh, available all this content that you have uh, put together? And so we started, OK, we don't have technology right now, so let's be an aggregator. So we uh, started working with some third parties that I'm not going to mention here. And the experience two years uh, afterwards, it wasn't good at all. We, we weren't happy with the experience. So we were uh, working in which technology are we going to use, which technology are we going to develop to, to connect directly with, with libraries. So uh, um, what we are doing, it's uh, since our publisher are pretty much uh, publishing in digital in PDFs because, well, all this currently you, you need the page. There's a lot of things that uh, publishers don't, don't make interesting to publish in EPUB. So what we do is uh, to make one, one place where our publishers just put the, the, the documents. The documents are, are not moving from there, so we connect through the API, we convert the PDFs in HTML5 files with a DRM in every page. It's, it's, uh, like an, it's encrypted. Every page is encrypted. So you, you cannot copy and paste unless the publisher wants to, to make the, the book open access or free. And that's the, and, and it's a, a a very good service because uh, you can every every single page of every single book it's a it's a link, it's a UR, uh, a unique URL, so uh, the the professors can just uh, put the, the the link into the uh, LMS of the of their institutions and the and the students can go there and discover the content just straight in the in the page. But uh, ap apart of that, we have twenty five thousand uh, direct customers. B2C in our web. 32. 32. 32,000. We grow. <laughs> That's why we grow everything. Yeah, the thing is that we're not making a, a, a marketing at all. I think we, are, we have spent 300 euros in the, in the last eight years. But there's a, a whole community uh, uh, working on our uh, website, which is not very nice to, to say it honest, but we don't have like a big. Uh, um, Budget. The thing is that we are growing by by investing what we got and and only boot, bootstrapping. And uh, well, the, the thing is that we started to we, we presented our project to go to libraries in this February 16 of 2020. So <laughs> our idea we were expecting to to get like two or three libraries a month, and then after. 15 days after, there was the, the lockdown, and everybody's calling us. So um, w now we have like uh, 60 libraries. We, we grew very fast, and and well, what we our main project, uh, it's uh, what we are doing right now. It's Intercambio Científico. It's what uh, the the um, the initiative that I was mention be mentioning before. We are um, we you you have all this information in a very Good data field in in uh, UNES website is here the the, yes. the the website you can play with and we we have like how many one 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 million three hundred yeah. views in 2021 of our content so there's a lot of uh, people. If, if you want to yeah. see the detail, you can go to this page and you can see for by publisher, by library. Uh, Clicks and, and who are there is a huge uh, report made by the UN UN uh, yeah, because and this is only a couple of a couple of things we get yeah because all the all the all the consultants and and consumption of the ebooks are uh, audited by our statistics and well I think if you have any is there anything that we have to to talk about Antonio yeah no ah, no. <laughs> Is, is a very interesting thing because it's, it's um, between um, publishers, uh, university publishers, and the libraries is an agreement, and then we are in between join that agreement and we share all this knowledge of all, each one of the publishers uh, with each one of the libraries. And it's very interesting because uh, if you see the details, uh, it's very interesting how. Um, uh, 
what is the clicks, uh, which uh, publisher is, is have more views. It's very, see the text is a big, nice data, and people are very happy. Okay, to finish, <laughs> after that, because everyone needs to go to have siesta, uh, or have a drink, uh, we want to give you uh, five notes we think uh, between Alejandro and me, more Alejandro and me, about what is the future or what is, would be the future could be of the academic Spanish publishing, okay? Uh, what we see, and we see in the last few months, is uh, we have a big uh, collaboration with a lot of university presses in Latin America. The, there is something that didn't happen before, is this kind of talking and in interchanging uh, things, I mean, about how they work, what we work, and, and they want to have visibility of the books here in Spain, and we want our publishers, the unit, have the visibility there. And this is, this is the thing you will see in our uh, the book fair, all of these uh, different publishers, university publishers, they give a, we, we saw some kind of part of their catalog in our stand, it's P-books, it's, it's, it's P-books, okay? That's one of the things we need. We need, uh, Sp Spanish war need to be together, to be strong, uh, because I, for now, uh, the Anglo English is the language for more of the university presses and everything, and, and the people know. And we want to have a strong, a strong uh, presses in Spanish. Uh, there is yeah, well, I mean, industry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, there, uh, 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 as all of you know, I mean, all there's a, a huge industry concentration in, in, in English dominance in the scholarly. If you see the, the big publishers in, in worldwide, they are not Random House, they are not uh, Planeta, they are Pearson, they are uh, Elsevier, which is LX. Uh, there are these big companies uh, that are uh, like, how, how to say it politely, I mean, th there is a strong dominance of, of English language, actually, with all this open access movement and the Helsinki uh, declaration, what we are trying to, well, well what the, the, the scholarly community is trying to, to do is to promote different languages in, in the scholarly communication to, to, to make like uh, Spanish, German, uh, Italian, uh, French, some other languages to, to be, let's say, scholarly conversant and rep uh, represented in, in, in all the papers. And there's a, a, a big uh, thing with open access, which um, I, uh, I'm, there's somebody here that could talk better uh, about it, because <laughs> they're, uh, they're publishing in, uh, open access, but there's a big movement and, and there's a big debate uh, about uh, open access, what is going to happen with uh, scholarly monographs, how the, the POD of open access is going to work, how uh, the open access is going to be financed, and well, I mean, can tell you many, many more about this, but... Uh, You're, you're talking about automatic translation. I, I don't read the future, Miguel. I have uh, no idea. <laughs> no, yeah, well, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, uh, I, I would like to see a, a, a machine translating. I, I probably see it, but I don't know what is going to happen. Uh, uh, very um, slight uh, book about Hispanic, Spanish philology or interpretation. I don't know. There's a lot of communication that I don't uh, know if it can be translated. Uh, I think it would be good for us, for Spanish, because if, if people can, if, if English speaker can read our books uh, in, in English, it would be good for us. It would be better, better. We don't need to translate. I mean, I think it could be benefit, but I'm not sure. The, 
The problem we, the problem university presses has, they, they don't sell the rights usually. I mean, it's, you don't see a lot of uh, books published by university press, Spanish, Spain or Latin America, translate to English. It's a few, it's, if, if, if the trade is very hard, in the, in the university presses it's almost impossible. Well, but, but in the States they don't have I mean, any, any interest in they, they don't, they any, don't any, any inter interest at all in, in translating books from other languages. There's only like a six percent yeah. of the books in trade yeah. publishing in the States that are but maybe from it will other be good. languages. I mean if, if you can if you can read book in Spanish and translate directly to you in English, maybe it could help. I don't know. I think it could help. I mean they, there, there are bestsellers that have been publishing like uh, for trade, like uh, Perez Reverte, Javier Marías, and they have been translated into this, the, the English language, but still, I mean, they, they are not uh, very interested in, in, in any other language authors, and not to say about scholarly yeah. information in, in other languages. Well, actually, I've been, I, what, I, I've been in the public, I've been publisher in the states for 12 years. I mean, I run different publishing companies in the states, in Spanish. Um, it's not true. The span it's, it's very spread the reading in Spanish. Okay, it's, that is half, half and half, uh, because there is a big discussion about the second generation and all this kind of thing. But in 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 the other hand, the thing is, is because books. Or, or professors who write the books in the universities, they don't have that same projection. In, in Spanish, they don't, if in Peru or in Ecuador, but they don't have that projection international uh, like they have some of the American in, the, in general. That is one of the things. If you don't have the book published or your papers published and all this kind of thing, and have this kind, uh, it's very hard they can read you in the, in the university area. It's not like the trade. Uh, still, we are selling some content in, in the States, like Spanish as a foreign language, we, 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 we sell them very, very good, and some in, in Hispanic history or Hispanic heritage, and... For example, in, I mean, UNAM, um, I mean, also a lot of publishers, university presses, they publish in English in some of the books. I mean, it's UNAM publishing books uh, in, in English, and in Spain, and, Universidad de Barcelona, many universities they publish in, in English some of the titles. It's more the visibility of the books or the visibility of the authors than the, than the, the publishing thing. Yes. Are you talking about the, like, in Cairn? In your you mean like a... Uh, 
we are well, working we in that. We are working in that, have some, some uh, agreement with some well, We've been talking with Open Edition for, uh, for Open Edition. Do you know the... Yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Pardon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't you don't you don't speak French. No. Well Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would like to add something I forgot. Um, when we're talking with the university presses, we also talk with some institution. Uh, it's the same problem for some institution and some academic publishers. Uh, I'm general talk about university presses, but we have the same thing. We have some institution, they have great books, and they, want, they don't go in the trade, like the SIC in Spain, like Casa Velázquez, like many, many different institutions. They have a very nice publishing uh, uh, program and catalog, but they don't find uh, the thing. Okay. about university presses is a mix, academic, uh, and some institution they publish. But you, you, we, we are open always to do any agreement with anyone, and we are doing with different Latin America, we are working with some distributors now in other countries. Welcome, I think we yeah, can do anything. So, We can spend like four days of five talking days about talking about open access, access. concerns, debates, it's, it's a pros big con and cons. It's a big concern because uh, like all of, all of you, someone need to pay the tab. Uh, and then someone, or we pay as a taxes or we pay out, or is but very, is there is not nothing free. Very interesting about open access because uh, I attended before the pandemic in, the, uh, in, in, in France to an OCLC event, and Magan uh, the I don't know he, if, if he's uh, like the heading the, the open access uh, uh, division in, in France right now, but he was at the time, and uh, well, he was very honest, and he was saying, well, we are doing a big effort in, in promoting open access for make all the content uh, available for everyone, but still, it's uh, <laughs> costing us more than before. So we are paying more for, for, for an <laughs> open access than we were doing before for books for trade. So, well, 